welcome to today's vlog. How are we all? How are we all holding up? Let me know in the comments. It's an Easter bonnet there that the kids made. Let me know in the comments what you, you know, what you've been up to. Have you just been chilling out in the house? If you've got a garden, have you been in the garden? How are all my key worker followers holding up? Uh, make sure you subscribe, I'm doing two weekly vlogs and also decorations, organisations and Disney stuff as well. Uh, video I just finished and sent over a um, bathroom tour thing video, so that'll be really good. In today's vlog, at some point, I'm going to show you where Stephen keeps all of his clothes because somebody commented on the video where I did my, where's Stephen? clothes and I was like I suppose it does look a bit strange that we just have one rail with no grown human man adult clothes on so make sure you go back and watch that so you know what I'm talking about and then I will show you Stephen's clothes but today um I've got a H&M kids clothes delivery coming so I might show you some of that as well and also where did I put them the decals have arrived for the kids bedrooms uh, my name's Emma. I should perhaps learn how to measure things. So, I ordered them from two companies. Uh, I'll link them below. So, we've got decals for Erin's rooms. If you remember in Erin's room a while ago, we used Casa Sunshine, which actually is not, not on there anymore. It's not, this, she's, her shop seems to have stopped, which is a real shame. So, decals are like big stickers you can stick to the walls, you can move them around, and it looks like wallpaper, and they're really, really effective. Erin does not want the pink stickers anymore, so we ordered some new stickers. Guys, these are tiny tanny. So, I'm not sure. Because the, the ones from the other place were like, the, you had some quite, yeah, they're like big ones, medium ones, and small ones. But we've just got small ones, so I think I'm going to have to keep up the original ones. Just peel off the pink ones and put up some of these ones. So we've got gold, black. I think that would look so effective on a white wall. I really, really like this blue. And then some greeny turquoisey ones. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out. I, of course, will bring you along with me. Um but we need to paint her room first. So it's Easter weekend coming up this weekend and obviously I'm not going anywhere. So Stephen's planning on starting one of the rooms. So we've got those for Erin. And then for Ethan, I made an even bigger boo-boo. These are not stickers. They're like, I don't even know. I don't know how I'd describe it. They're almost like transfers. So I think you stick it on and then pick, I don't, I don't quite know how this works. So that'll be a whole sham of you watching me, but he's gone for thunder bolts. So we've got that, that colour is there, we've got a black. Gone for a black, what colour is this? Oh, and a silver. So it should look quite nice. So it's just if you don't want to put wallpaper up really. And it's also very cathartic putting them up. So I will let you know how that goes. I think the one the one where you peel them off, I think that's gonna be a disaster. Also, some new TV programs I have been watching that you might enjoy watching. I've been watching uh, The Nest, which is, I think it's BBC. If you have Sky, it's on demand. It's on the iPlayer, or oh, if that's my little parcel. Um, we also have been watching, I've been watching Pen15, where you can download the whole, whole series, which is super, super fun. Really, really like that. And so the next, the Pen15, and I'm going to say Back to Life. I might have to come, come back to you on that, which is a comedy. I will come back to you on that one. But if you're looking for some new TV recommendations, they're really, really good ones. They're, they're, uh, oh, and the, Stephen, Stephen. What's that racing program called? Uh, Race Around the World. Race Around the World. We love that. And I think there's about, is there about six episodes? Yeah. So definitely watch that. It's a really, really, really fun program. And they're all on the iPlayer or um, if you've got on demand on Sky, so you can watch them so you don't need like Netflix or anything. Um, oh, this isn't my man. Somebody's getting a Gusto box delivered. Obviously to make themselves some fancy dinner. Lucky for them. I just had a dairy lead dunker. So that was nice. Right, I'm just gonna go and wait for my stuff. If 
you remember from the stuff I bought to homeschool the kids, I bought some acrylic paints and we've been painting these little stones and because we've got the front of our house has got loads of them and then we are going to, oh, they look so pretty, we're going to go, we like to leave them on our little walks if people find them, um, so that's what, that's what we'll be doing after my delivery comes, we're going to go for our little daily walk. Let me know how your little walk's going. Do you do one every day or do you tend just to kind of stick in your garden or stay in your house? Um, but yeah, I think these look really, really pretty. Erin, that's that's Erin's, that's mine. That's Ethan's and Daddy did like a spotty one. Also, how are you coping with Easter? Are you going to be doing schooling if you're a parent? Are you just going to be chilling for a couple of weeks? If you're still working at home, are they gonna be doing work whilst you're working at home? I'd love to know how you're gonna set it up. I am playing it by ear. I have got some activities, but it is pretty much holiday time, really. Um, I'm just gonna be, if because Stephen's here, he can watch the kids while I work. I can watch the kids while he works. And we're just gonna be, just relax a little bit. I've got, I have got Easter activities, which I'll bring out if there's some sort of, everybody's falling out with each other but for this week at least i don't know what about after bank holiday monday but for this week at least the routine is just going to be just chilling out it's a bit cold isn't it erin yeah it is a bit cold i got a bit excited and thought it was all warm and i've got like a short sleeve thing on so is the kid uh, so is erin and now we're all cold i might have to put a hoodie on i think it was supposed to be really sunny in birmingham yesterday and it wasn't but uh, we, we kind of spent the day in the garden. We didn't go for a walk at all yesterday. The kids don't really like going every, one every day. But I think we should try and go out as much as possible just to, just to get a bit of fresh air really and just get, get out of the house. Ethan's currently refusing to get dressed and it's 25 to one. Get dressed, get dressed. I had to get changed, absolutely. <laughs> I had to put the kids in hoodies. So, the riddle of Stevens. Our house with wardrobes, we are terribly organised. The kids both have a wardrobe with their clothes in their rooms. I have a rail. So, as you know, I have the little rail, and then everyone's like, where's Stevens' clothes? So, I'll show you where Stevens' clothes are. It's a bit messy. So he has these two little drawers here. I shan't open them too much. It's got all these bits and pieces in. He also has this drawer here, big drawer there. If we go, there's a lot of noise. The kids are playing the switch. He has all of his coats here. And he has a million pairs of shoes. Here. All of his shoes are on the bottom three there. And then we'll go upstairs. Then we come up the stairs to Trumpington. Come up the stairs. Oh, here are the decals. Look how big some of these are compared to the ones. I've just got loads of sheets of these little ones now. None of the big ones. It's the big ones that we want. So I'm going to replace those ones. I don't know how it's going to work. If we come over here, the kids have got their rainbows up in the window. Stephen has a wardrobe here. Oh my God, the door just fell off the wardrobe. This is what you're dealing with people. You're dealing with people who are hot messes. He also has a hook on the door there with a million hoodies on. He's got... um big drawer under the bed and he's got another drawer in the bedroom so he's got three small drawers two large drawers a wardrobe and coats in three different places and three rails of shoes he has more clothes than me uh, so we have ordered him a wardrobe and me an wardrobe I don't and we've also ordered us two 
big sets of drawers for the bedroom. So he is going to keep his clothes in Erin's room and the new wardrobe are going to be clothes that we don't really need to wear very often, like suits or really smart clothes. And then upstairs he'll have like all his athletic wear, um, of which he has. I would love, I would love, la la love, to try and persuade Stephen. Let's start a position to do like um, a sort in his clothes out. I've tried to do it before with him. And he gets one of his t-shirts out. I'm sure there was something like 47 t-shirts. And I was like, right, we're gonna whittle these down. And he got rid of like two. I'd love it, I'd love if I could just sort through stuff, but obviously that's not my responsibility, which is why you didn't see it in the other video. Because believe you me, I would be ruthless so when everything's sorted you'll see both the wardrobes and i'll make sure i'll show you all steven's stuff as well as my stuff so that's that's all that's the that on that that's all that cleared up yeah it had to change it's absolutely freezing we were going to go for the walk and it started to tip it down so i think what we'll do is get sky you can hire rent trolls for a week the trolls to the new film and it's 16 quid which is a lot of money However, if we were going to sit in the cinema, it would be like 40 quid, wouldn't it? That's how I'm trying to reason it. And I know the kids really want to see it and they can watch it all week then. And they have really been looking forward to it. But they're playing Switch at the moment, so I might leave them for a little bit while they're happy. It generally descends into some sort of discussion, aka row, aka a bit of a push and a shove. So we'll see. I can already hear. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, yeah, so it's very like proper April showers today. I'm worried if we go out for our walk, because obviously we're walking, not in the car. If we get stuck on the walk, we have to walk all the way back and get wet, wet with the, because um, they take their scooters. So we'll see. They've put rainbows in the front window, and I've also noticed that Erin's put teddy bears in the front window as well, because around here they're doing teddy bear hunts, so which they're probably doing all over the UK. But you can go past people's houses and see teddy bears in the windows. It's just cute alongside the rainbows for the NHS people. So, do I get the Easter cakes out now that we've been keeping in the garage as the treat? I think I'm gonna get, let them play this for a little bit longer then put trolls on, then reveal the Easter cakes. That's my plan, I think. I can't believe we just pulled the door off the wardrobe. Oh, we just wanted to make sure the kids were sorted with their wardrobes. You know when you're a mom and dad, you just do stuff for your kids, don't you? I wasn't supposed to have a rail for three years. It was supposed to be an interim thing. Stephen wasn't supposed to be storing his clothes in a wardrobe that is clearly, we've had for 10 years and that was for Erin when she was a baby. These are not things that we thought we were doing in our 40s and late 30s. But then here we are. This is what, this is what happens. And there's bloody decals as well. Should I do that while you're here now? Should I take the pink ones off? Let's see how they, let's see, let's see if, if leaves were big pink stains. Well, I'll put you up here. Right, first one's coming off. There's no stain, it has come off. I'm gonna put them there. I wonder, wonder if I could maybe, ooh, maybe I could put them in my office and have like a nice wall in my office. I'm just trying to make sure that the paint doesn't come off with the sticker. Um, no, it's fine. Ethan just raised his voice. I was like, calm down, Ethan. Right, I'm gonna peel all these off and then come back to you. I'm feeling, oh no, some paint just came off. It's okay, I'll use a sticker to cover it up. So if you see, this is this is the small ones. <laughs> Kids are just playing. And look at the bit, I wanted that kind of range, but anyway, it was my fault, I ordered the wrong thing. So I've taken down all the pink ones and I'm going to um fill in the gaps with the black ones i think i need stevens just said we're going to leave 
We're going to leave the white walls, the ceiling, and that wall because actually they were painted quite recently. And we're just going to paint the the blue walls, the um, skirting boards as well were painted. Uh, I got rid of the pink boxes. We swapped them for ones in the garage. I think maybe she might want to swap some of the pictures. And I don't know if she's going to want to keep these up. That'll have to be her decision. Um, so, but yeah, just a little bit of a time. Right, here it is now, and then I'm going to put the black ones on. Yay, I bet you like it. It looks no different. But I added the black spots and the little blue spots. I think it looks really nice. But the plan is, as I was doing this, I was just thinking, because Erin's like nine which isn't that far away from a teenager. I'm gonna be really mindful of what I put up and I think most of the decorative things are gonna be on the shelves. So they are things that she can just, as she grows up, can be like, right, I don't want these up anymore and I can put other things up. Does that make sense? So she's, uh, it, it, the room can grow with her. Like she's got the couch, which is really nice and the rug's really nice and these are, oh, these are fine. I'm not sure what we're going to do about the desk because obviously that is pink. I wonder if you could paint it. Um, the little board's nice, the shelf's nice, the pictures are nice. I mean, she might want that Duffy to go, I don't know. And we can always change the frames and the furniture's fine. Uh, you know, and obviously that'll be a really nice... That'll be, she's already said she wants that to go in the garage and the buggy to go in the garage. <laughs> um... So yeah, that, that will be nice. We'll have some boxes on top. I have no idea where the H&M delivery person is. I presume they're very busy with all their deliveries. I just trod on all the kids' Switch games. Great. Uh, so I will put that in the next vlog. In the next vlog, I'll do like a H&M kind of what I got for the kids video. I never got anything for myself. It's all for the kiddies because I did a wardrobe clear out and realised that... They are lacking in certain, uh, like, because you obviously need like quite a lot of cash clothes now we're at home. So, right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the comments. I love you lots. I'm very pleased I got the wall sorted. I love it when you can come along and do a job with me. And I will see you for another vlog on Friday with that H&M haul. Exciting times. See you soon, guys. Bye.